Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are playing some more Three Kingdoms, playing our Jiang Zhang campaign. And here are my boys. Here they are. Oh, there's Gan Ning and uh, Sima Yi. Good guys, good guys. Yeah, taking taking some cities for me. Good boys. So yeah, uh, this is actually going really well. Um, I mean, I've taken three settlements from already, which is actually a pretty significant dent. I mean, you know, three there, three there, three there, and three there. So, I'm a fifth of the way to, you know, wiping out uh, Gongsun Zan, which is pretty great. Or is there another one there? Okay, another one there. All right, either way, I'm doing well. I'm happy with this. And uh, defeated base guilder armies, so I can just start pushing in now, which is pretty great. And uh, if Yuran, uh, Yuran Shao starts taking some stuff... Then I guess I'll just buy it from him because I'm rolling in money. Sadly, though, uh, food's not looking great right now. Food is not looking great. I actually had a comment um, a couple of videos back being like, sell food. And I knew this would happen. As soon as as soon as soon I went to war with someone, you know, proper war, my food would just plummet because I'd be taking cities over. But uh, luckily, there are a lot of farms in here, which is good news. So, um, yeah, should be able to, you know, hopefully take that. I've got this and this. So, yeah, I think I'm good. Should be able to upgrade these soon. Can't upgrade that just yet for some reason. Why not? Oh, I'm already building stuff. Oh, I'm being silly. Let's give me more food anyway. And I'll get more food there. And that's upping food production. So this place is going to get me a lot of food. Although it's still saying minus 12. Wow, food distribution is big. Hang on. Where? Where? Huh. Saying food distribution, but also food markets. But, I don't have a food market. So that's weird. Unless it's something I'm demolishing. Could be. Looks like I'm demolishing something. Maybe it's there and I did that last turn. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so, um, someone has a level up, so let's do that. It's, uh, it's Swen Tran. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, uh, hey, husband. How's it going? Let's see. Plus 50% line of sight. Hmm. That sounds handy. Is that... I mean, I don't think that's in battle, is it? Surely that means on the campaign map. Hmm. Dunno? It's own oh. No, he's not faction air, is he? He's just a husband. Uh plus forty percent melee attack rate. That's pretty huge. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's get fighty. Awesome. Alright, so these two need to replenish. It's not gonna take them long. They barely lost a soul, which is pretty awesome. And uh Tsiang Tsiang. Uh Jan Jiang, rather. She's, uh, yeah, she's gonna chase this guy down, I think. Do I have turns left? No, you've already moved. Yeah, everyone's already moved plenty. Oh, you haven't moved quite enough. Why is that, uh, oh, I don't have quite enough to get to him. So it's not letting me move any further into his area of influence. So I think we're good to go to the next turn now. And should have food again. Things are going okay. I'm not at war with, uh, him anymore. Yeah, I think we're good. One thing I'm a bit worried about, though, is it looks like I've got... Quite a bit of territory now, you know. I've got quite a bit of territory. Pushing into here, which is really good. You know, this is all gravy. But, Swenser is still growing. He's still growing. He's doing really well down here. And, wow. Huh. There's a, yump, a lumber yard there. I didn't think the islands were actually territories you could take. Looks like you can take that, too. Hmm, maybe I should at some point. I mean, it's a ways off, but... It's good to be ambitious, right? Anyway, yeah. So, uh, Liu Bei, he's still paying me a fortune. I'm getting 19 grand in tributaries. But the scary thing is, if suddenly he cuts me off, decides, I'm not paying you anymore, then I could be in trouble. I could be in a lot of trouble. So, I can't spend too, too much money. I'll have to try not to spend too much. So, let's go to the next turn and see what happens. Uh, who's this? Who are you? Alright, he's on the move. Obviously, he's going to be trying to escape. I'm just going to keep chasing. Uh, Yuan Chao still on the move. He's still got quite a lot of armies, considering he has basically nothing. Um, I mean, AI, just, we all know it cheats, but this is ridiculous. Uh, sorry, what? No, I don't want to do that. I know you're born and pay me, but I'm not doing that. Oh, he's weaker than me now, which is good. I do love that it says the alliance uh, strength is similar. We're in the same alliance. It's not similar, it's the same. But what can you do? So we are the most powerful person in our coalition now. Um, so we should actually be at strength rank 1, maybe. Unless Liu Bei is still more powerful than I am. Um, I'd find that surprising, but he could be. He could be. 
He could Liu Bi. I know, that's not how you pronounce it. But anyway, Gong Rong requested Gao Gan join their war. Alright, so they're going to go to war with uh, Huang Chao. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Left the coalition of Liu Bu. I'm not surprised. And oh, Xia Long is actually a vassal of Liu Bu, which I find so strange. Because right now, Liu Bu has that toolmaker. I think that's it. I think that's literally all he has. So he's not doing great. He's not doing great. But I guess he's Liabu, so he can still tell people um, to do things. Right, so now, food here. God, that costs 24. Even with all the food I'm getting from here, it's still it's still only breaking even. It's mad. Although I can upgrade this. Maybe I should. Tribute Hall would be nice, though, wouldn't it? Hmm. What's this upgrade to? Yeah, it's all just reserve capacity. So, eh. Not that fussed about that. Could upgrade the farm. That might be nice, but uh, no, it's only going to take two turns. So yeah, I'll upgrade the farm. That'll get me a lot, lot more food. And you guys, you can start heading for that city, I think. So yeah, start trying to take... Yeah, let's take the rest of Anping. So, move over here. Yeah, well, let's not move too, too far. Because I might want to set up an ambush. Doesn't look like I need to, though, does it? Can you reach there? You can't, can you? How about you? Can you reach there? Uh, no, it's going to be a zero. So they're going to stand there. It's fine. I mean, they'll back each other up. I'm pretty confident that either of those armies can perform very well against any army that may attack me. I only really have to worry about night battles, you see. You know, because then what, they'll only attack one of me. You know, one of these stacks. But then it's still going to be one on one. I reckon I'll do fine. So, um, he's still on the run. Past my lumber yard. So, I guess I'll just keep chasing. Just keep chasing. And head to die. Start heading this way. I think. I won't bother with these these ones. That'll just be these two armies dealing with them. And these two could just blitzkrieg across here. And just fight everything as they go. I think I'll be fine. I mean, four stacks, guys. We have four stacks. Which is insane. That is not something we have. Oh, and I'll say, who's him? Who's he? He's our guy. We have five stacks. <laughs> it's looking good. It's looking good. So, let's go to... Yeah, let's head over this way. Start taking these guys. I don't want Kong Rong taking these guys. Because, yeah. I mean, I know I can buy territories off people, but it doesn't mean I want to. It doesn't mean I want to spend all my money on buying territory. You know? It's just not worthwhile. Um, annoyingly, these guys still don't have full faction support, which I find very surprising. Huh. Oh, this guy just took this one, I think. I think it dragged down. No, I just bought these two. Oh, okay, so if you buy a thing... If you buy a place, it still doesn't necessarily like, um, doesn't necessarily like you owning them. So this is going up though, which is fine. Public order is going up again, so we should get better population growth and stuff from there. It's just you know, it's gonna happen, isn't it? So more food production and that's percentage food production. We do have farmland and a livestock farm here, so this seems like the perfect place to start upgrading food production. You can see we all we immediately have 17 food. Just immediately it's gone back up to 17. But god, it can fluctuate so quickly. I mean, that's the thing. You take one of these cities and it's minus 24 all of a sudden. I mean, there's a huge investment, regional cities. It's kind of nuts. Right. So. Can't reach there yet. Can't reach there yet. Um, I might send one army down to the livestock farm first. So I might go boom, boom, boom. And let these guys go boom, boom. Well, actually, he'll be heading in that way. So these guys can head in that way. He heads in that way. So he only has to take two. Settlements. They take three settlements. Zhen Zhang takes one, two. He's, she starts... Nope, one, two. And uh, Liu, Liu Zhang starts heading that way. I think that should work. Maybe. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll wing it, guys. We'll wing it. So, he's still running. Of course he is. Looks like he's trying to ambush. I actually, I actually don't mind if he does ambush me. It's really not going to matter. All right, Yuan Shao's moving more troops up. Doesn't look like he's getting into anywhere yet, though, which is good. Matang, he's uh, he's still going. He's still alive, which I find very surprising. All right, because he's fighting Kong Rong, isn't he? It looks like Kong Rong's getting pretty screwed down here, which isn't good for me. Uh, oh, it's got an achievement. What's that do? I hate that it doesn't tell you when you hover over it. Uh, Yuan Shu signed peace treaty with Kong Rong. That's good. Uh, oh, oh. Huh. That's uh, this boy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. So Han Xin. 
now. Hmm, Hanshin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Not that fussed. Uh, who are you? Living in harmony. Oh. Oh. Uh, Yo Wang and Sima Yi uh, are better friends now. That's nice. I mean, they did they did do some war together. That's always, that's always a good bonding experience. Sometimes even seemingly independent people can find friendship in like-minded souls. These two, driven by their own desire to achieve, draw inspiration or perhaps competition from one another. It gladdens you to see it, but with a laugh, you wonder where it could possibly end. Wait, hang on. Where it could possibly end? Like, wait, romance? Is it implying romance? Could be. Could be. You never know. Oh, yeah, let's head in here. And, uh, wow. It's just it's not looking good for them, is it? And I'm going to make it look a lot worse for them when I move to see me year up here, too. On the march. Excellent. That should do it. Uh, delegate. We have trebuchets, so we don't have to besiege the place for long. We can just attack it. Did lose a thousand guys this time. And actually, huge amount from his retinue, which is a real pity. Yeah. I wish the damage was more spread out, because uh, he's fine. All his army is totally fine. This one's rubbish, though. He's lost a lot. That will actually take some time to replenish, which is kind of frustrating. But hey, this belongs to us now. Yeah, just like he said. And our food, skyrocketing again. Excellent. So yeah, a lot of food production in these places. Lovely. Uh, this city, how are you doing? Uh, that will actually start going up pretty soon. Got, you know, fairly good population growth, I imagine. Um, so yeah, I think it's going, yeah, it's going up fairly well. It's going up fairly well. Reforms are adding a lot to it. So I might actually upgrade this city now. Get another building slot. I think that's probably a good idea. And you are in the city. So how many turns? Uh, what's most injured? That one. Four turns. Five. Oh, bloody hell. Slowing down my, uh, slowing down my conquest. So you're going to get hit by that ambush? We got ambushed. Oh, no. Oh, we got ambushed by nothing in particular. Oh, God. I know I'm being really condescending. I'm getting a bit cocky, aren't I, guys? I'm getting a bit cocky. We were doing well in this war. It was a good opener. You know, we did some great work. And now I'm getting ambushed and I don't even care. So, something is bound to go wrong very quickly, isn't it? Um, we've never been ambushed before, so I think I'm going to play it. I think I'm going to play it, just because I've never been... Mm, but, I mean, look at this. It's going to be too easy, isn't it? It's probably not worth showing. Oh, I do love ambushes, though. I guess I'm just going to delegate. Uh, confident, though, isn't he? He's like, yes, we ambushed them. Oh. Oh. She's quite feisty. We only lost 300 men. Jesus. This poor sod. Gained more infamy, obviously. Okay, captured him. Ooh, he's got a horse. He's got a red thoroughbred. What do you have? A stone archer. Uh, should we kill them all? I want more toys for people. He doesn't seem fussed about uh, sticking around. Him, though. Uh, Zhu Zhao. He's not... Uh, yeah, he doesn't want to doesn't want to join me. Seems very content where he is. Um, so I guess I'll murder him. I'm sorry, buddy. Shifu, the fact that he's happy to leave makes me not want to execute him, but he does have a better horse. Um, I could employ him, take his horse, and then fire him. At least that way I'm not executing him, but... I am tempted to release him, to be honest. Um, hmm... Yeah, I don't know. Oh! Friends with, uh, Yao Wang. That... He's in my army, isn't he? Huh. Did this guy used to work for me? I recognise the name. Now I'm seeing it. Now I'm thinking about it. Uh... No, always Gong Sun Zan. Alright then. Huh. Oh, he dead. He dead. Yeah, I just killed him. Oops. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, I'm not sure I can employ him now that I've killed his friend. So, I think I might release him back into the wild. Yeah. Yeah, off you go, mate. I'm feeling generous. I'm being very cocky lately, but he just tried to ambush me. It's a baller move, you know? It is a baller move. So, I do want to reward that. Alright, you go to the livestock farm. And you start heading towards the city. Although, what I might do here is uh, the repeater crossbowmen. I think those are, yeah, these are the really short range ones. So actually, I'm tempted to swap them out for a, uh, 
a trebuchet, and maybe some more archers? Just so I have more fire arrows. You know what, two fire arrows is enough to just draw towers and stuff, so yeah, I think uh, a couple trebuchets. I know I probably shouldn't be doing this here, but, I mean, might as well, right? Oh, only one turn to replenish. That's super quick. It is really quick to build trebuchets, apparently. Alright, that is golden. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, where next? Uh, you guys just took that. You do have a lot more movement left, though. So, I might move him along here just so I can get line of sight on the city. Don't have line of sight on the city. Okay, it's just the borders that let me see that. Uh, you, though, you can start moving. You can start moving on. a boy. Cool. Yeah. Can take that next turn too. The people are flocking to this province. They're flocking to this province, you say? Well, I'm not sure they're going to gonna flock there much longer when it's under siege. Right, let's start spending some money. So, large city. Um Do you wanna make this bigger again? Do you wanna make this bigger? Or do I wanna wait to see how the food situation balances out? I mean there's a trade port up there, fishing port here. Hmm. Still a livestock farm to take as well. But yeah, a lot of this though isn't farms anymore. I've kind of taken most of the farms. And I have a lot of cities to take. So I'm not sure it's wise to upgrade that just yet. But I can upgrade this for the extra food production. Which seems a waste actually, this food production building. I really don't need that here. It's just not the best place for it. Really you want to build that in places where you can also do the one that adds, um, uh, adds the percentage of uh, stuff increased because this isn't getting me any food because it's it's timber so really this should change to an industrial building to take advantage of oh that's income from peasantry oh and that does give me peasantry income so that might actually be a good idea anyway huh hmm yeah I don't know I mean it's gonna be industry income lowest corruption which would be good actually to be able to do that. Uh, that's just population growth and income from industry. Workshops, industry and commerce. Um, hmm. You know, not sure. Not sure. Inns don't. Marketplaces? Oh, actually trade influence from these. Huh. Nifty. Um, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That might be nice, just from the extra income from peasantry. I think that will get me a fair bit of money later on. Because, yeah, peasantry is earning a fair bit. So I guess I will just upgrade this. And, yeah, get more peasant income. Why not? Uh, Tyon's got an upgrade. Let's do that. So I get more population growth. I'm on 1.7 million. Wow. Lovely stuff. Right, over here. Anything? Nothing to build, huh? Oh, Herdong's got something. Uh, oh my god, it's at 2 million already. I need to make it to a regional city. Jeez. Although. Hmm, public order isn't changing at all. I want it to start going up. I'm going to build this before I get let the population get any higher, I think. Uh, right, I think we're good? I think we're good for the next turn now. So I should be able to take that, take that, take that, take that, and take that all in one turn. If, uh, if I've done the maths right. So yeah, one, two, three, four. Don't know if I'll be able to reach that, though. Attention. With him. Maybe not. But maybe. I might try and take all of them in one go. He's a bit injured, though, so he might not actually attack. But I might try and take as many places as possible in one turn. So we do have a reform. And get more military supplies. Get more food from fishing. More income from peasants. Food from farming. I mean, that'll just set me up for food forever, I think. Income from peasantry. And it unlocks more buildings. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's a bandit one. Hmm. Yeah, and these are just the much better uh, sort of city buildings for food, I think. Minus two mustering turns. Pretty great. Uh, now what's this? Tribal horse tenders, huh? Better upkeep. Yeah, so that's why we've got the horse buildings plus two public order that's locked why is that locked oh, i need a i need a rural county administration huh huh i didn't realize that don't need that for all of these 
Yeah, it seems like it. So, that's bizarre, because that puts up public order by two, but the building I'm building will put public order down substantially. So that seems unusual. That puts up public order. Which is pretty sweet. I wasn't going to go for this, though, wasn't I? That was what I was headed towards. Let's go ahead and build that. Well, research that. Reform that? Whatever that. Let's do that. Uh, this is filling up rather nicely. Which is good. I like that. Soon we'll be on... Wow, it'll go from plus 25% in diplomacy to 50%. Which is nuts. That is going to give us so much more money. And yeah, we're quite quite close to getting Bandit Leader as well. Which will give us, I think... Yep, another 10% in diplomacy. That's kind of insane. Oh, and an extra trade agreement. As well as some other bits and bobs. So yeah, that's really cool. This is going well. This is going well, guys. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They did have an army. They have an army left. Alright, I guess we'll fight it. See how these two can do. And him as well. Yeah, yeah, that is Yo Wang. So yeah, that was the guy that the person we released liked. So that was pretty funny. I could have probably put him in army with him, but you know, why would I replace any of these? It'd be silly. So yeah, let's do this. I think it should be pretty straightforward. I think he's getting desperate, you know. I think they're getting desperate. Alright. Let's have a look-see. So, I've got plenty of cav. Including some horse archers, which is lovely. And, uh... I can actually put them up here. <laughs> nice. So, I'll put them up there. You guys are set up again. Uh, you can go further out. Uh, you guys pull back. Uh, I'm going to play this quite defensively, I think. So, a nice solid line. Um, could put them all in turtle. For that ranged, uh, that ranged defense. You two, I want you to charge in later, but for now, you can shoot things. You guys can all shoot things. Excellent. And you guys, I want to take you a fire at will, because I want to actually do the hits myself. And let's adjust all these guys, so, uh... Yeah, they're all on fire will, all on guard mode. And yeah, and these two, I mean, they can just cover the flanks really nicely. So, perfect. And uh, yeah, these guys would be great for chasing off fleeing units and shooting to the backs of units. Alright, where are the expensive ones? There they are. And, who nice tight formation here. Perfect. Let's see how the rocks do. I thought that was a rock, it's a bird. God, look at this. Bloody gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, are my trebuchets having to move forward right now? Are they on the move? Ah, they're firing. Come on. Get some hits. Oh. Here they come. Here they come. Looks like we're getting a few. Looks like we're getting a few. Not many. But hopefully, over time, that'll do. Got some mounted lots of militia. God, I love the look of the formations, don't you guys? Looks so good. Proper sturdy. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, this is going well. It's going well. We're getting some good hits on him with the trebuchet. Which I like. Crossbows should also really mess them up, to be honest. So maybe... No, I can't do flaming shot with these. Oh, wow, that looked like a very good hit. Oh. Ah, Gong Swin Gun. I guess? Might as well do that. I will Let's do the duel. Bit injured, though. Bit injured. And they're all wasting my their ammo on invincible units. Which is nice to see. Uh, yeah, these guys are getting some nice hits. I will cut out your heart! So let's spread them out. Shut up and die. Uh, you lot. I actually want you to start shooting at them. You start shooting the Azur dragons. And you guys, actually. And you guys. You start going for the crossbowmen. You start going for the archer militia. And you. Are you in the duel yet? Yes, you are. Hamstring that boy. Our men have been discovered. 
Our men have been discovered. Cool, blimey. Alright, you need to start pushing in there. Getting some really good hits into this lot, so... I'm going to start charging in with them. And wow, they took a lot of damage on the charge there. Ooh. Amazing that you can both talk and battle. Okay, they're really struggling. But let's get these guys back in. Uh, oh, yep, they've shattered them. Awesome. Alright, uh, I don't know where to shoot now. There. This could be very bad for us. Could be very, very bad. For China. So, yeah, okay, we're we doing well. Over on this side, things were getting a little bit crazy. But, looks like they've just run straight into my spearmen, so that's perfect. Crossbowmen, doing a fine job. Alright, you can run in. I've already been using my heroes, have I? What can you do? Oh, just a passive buff for speed. That's kind of cool. I like that. So, yeah, these guys are getting pretty sandwiched. Uh, what's your thing? Oh, yeah, let's lower all the stats. You, hamstring again, because I'm not sure things are going particularly well for you at the moment. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, you guys move over there. Oh, the cab can go over there. And yeah, need to keep an eye on this. Every 30 seconds, guys. Every 30 seconds. So you start heading that way. And you charge into there. You're doing well against these uh, dragons, which I like. Are you guys having a fun time? Are you charge into the next crossbowman. Start running that way. Go for them. Ooh, this is going to hurt. Charge if you can. Start pulling back. You should. It's close, though. Very close. Oh, I'm going to have to run, aren't I? I'm going to have to run. This is far too close. I'm running away. It's a shame, I know, but... That seems inadvisable. So I will decline. It's a pity. It's a pity. So yeah, he's running off. Gutted. Alright, you charge into the back of them. Keep moving. You're doing fine. Uh, you guys, go help them out, will you? Yeah, my horsemen aren't doing so great here, are they? Yeah, you pull out. You're taking far too big casualties. Shoot the back of them, please. Thank you. You shoot. Oh, you're out of ammo, are you? Okay, you move back. You start charging in. Okay. You can start charging it that way. Yeah, you go finish. Uh, you go finish him off, actually. Good. You chase them down. You guys can start chasing people down too. And that's victory. Cool. Happy with that. Happy with that. Like the trebuchets. How well do they do? 238 kills. It's pretty substantial. It's pretty substantial. Take that. Ka-chow. So yeah, they, uh, they attacked me. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Alright, three in for me. It's all lining up. And Sirius so gained, stole a horse. I mean, that's how I roll. You know, steal a horse. He won the duel, though, which is very annoying. I'm very upset about that. Just because I wasn't using his abilities enough. You know, I kept waiting too long before using him again. That's something you've really got to keep an eye out for, because it's, it's the abilities that will win you a fight. It will win you a duel, especially if they're constantly using their own. So, let's go replenishment. I do need to keep my units nice and healthy, because they will get worn down charging across an entire country. Will happen eventually. Okay, Tao Tao's still doing things. Duchy of Want to remove Tao Tao from the coalition? No one really wants to do that, mate. Yeah, we all know that you want to fight him. We all know that. Come join us in our war um, on chaos. I'm not going to fight Libu just yet. Sorry. You should be able to handle him, though. He has one territory. I mean, come on, come on, come on. You're better than this. Uh, everyone's up for it, apparently. Who is Leo Yao, anyway? 
Is he down here? Who's the guy in this corner? I think there's somebody in this corner. Or is it this guy? It's this guy. It's this guy right here. He has one territory. Um, I don't think you really need the help. And I love that. As soon as Tao Tao says, let's do something. Um, <laughs> Swen Tzu is just like, no, I'm not doing that. You get out of here. Which I think is pretty hilarious. Um, right. Do we want to... Mm. I don't know. I kind of want these guys to like me more. Because I'm inevitably going to end up in a massive war with them. And these guys might be helping me out with that. You know, these guys might end up all my vassals. So, I think I'm going to have to say, yeah. We think I mean, it's not going to affect me. Tao Tao should be able to deal with him easily without my help. So, shouldn't trouble me. Uh, Tao Ying just got destroyed. Uh, Liu, uh, Liu Yao just declared war on Tao Tao. Can't wrong, declared war on Liu Yao, as did everyone else. So, looks like he does have a bit of an army. Whoops. Not much, though. Not much. And I've got some help as well, which is pretty cool. So, yes, so I have trebuchets and reinforcing armies. So, I could just go ahead and auto-resolve this, to be honest. I don't think there's much point fighting this one, so let's delegate that. Lost a thousand troops. Oh, what? Straight up, two units of cavalry wiped out. Um, okay, this guy only hates um, uh, Shinren. But, I mean, do I care? Do I need this guy? Probably not. I think I'll release him. I will show mercy this Got no time. problems with him. Uh, and he had nothing to steal. So, occupy this one. It's going well, guys. It's going well. It's going very well. So, what can we build here? Just upgrade the city. We don't need to. We've got 200k to add up to. Getting some good... Okay, some good income from industry, which I like. Do have some food production here as well, though. Which I think is a little bit unnecessary. So we might swap them out for more industry buildings and tribute buildings. And this one, obviously the salt mine, that's going to be big industry. So we should get a lot of money from industry here. Um, but it's only on plus 30%. So we need to upgrade the buildings that will give us bonus to industry income. Um, and yeah, that will benefit us a lot too. So you've got to level up. What can you get? Building upkeep, extra line of sight, final rush. This one I find so strange. It's only if battle outcome is decided that he gets extra speed and charge speed. Which I guess means he's able to run away. Or, he's able to chase down fleeing people. So he's really good at killing people who are fleeing. I think. I think that's how that works. It seems unusual. Because, um, yeah. yeah. It's just so odd. Enabled if battle outcome decided. Um, guerrilla deployment. Extra chance of ambushing sounds useful. I do do a lot of ambushing. You know, with a bandit faction, gotta go with the ambush stuff. That's just... It's just manners. It's just good manners, guys. So, now we can attack this one. So, is a bit of an army here. I did do a number on them, so fine. And we do have trebuchets, so we can delegate this as well. But for now, I think I'm going to continue this siege. Because if they can attack me in the open field, I will be better off. And i got to say, he's got to be out of army soon. You know? And if he does come in with another army, I can retreat and I won't fight the garrison. So, it looks like... Yep, 8% left, so I can reach here too. And again, I have trebuchets, so I can attack it whenever I want. Oh man, so good. I just can't believe how close this is though, considering how tiny the army is. But uh, we'll continue the siege there. And then I can move in here as well. Okay, so let's starve them out too. And let's push her up as well. Ah, oh, I can't reach there this turn. So, what I'll do, 100% chance of ambush in these trees. Good stuff. And I'll put an ambush there, just in case. Okay, so, three places are under siege. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good. Before, we didn't even have that many armies, like, not that long ago. Um, so, things are going very well. Uh, these two, I kind of want to buy, because I feel like, I mean, Hanai is his... Um, that's where you ran Shao's from, I think. 
I think that is his capital. Um, sort of in the story as well. I know it's his capital now, but I mean, it could have been anywhere along here. And he just happened to get knocked out of it. But no, that is his capital, I believe. So I might just leave him this, because he still has a billion armies and really likes me. So I am tempted to buy these two as well. I might buy the fishing port at least. Just because I can. I mean, look at the money I have. It's kind of ludicrous. I mean, I could have more uh, more armies, but it's just too much of a hassle keeping all the characters happy. Like this guy, he's livid. Now he's a little bit happier. Let's have a look at this, actually. Alright, I think that was the worst, to be honest. Yeah, he's a bit livid. This court noble. You know what? Be the chief of records. And you? You're fine. This guy, he's a general, so I do want to keep him happy. So, I'll make him a chief officer. Him. He's chief of records. I have a lot of those, apparently. So, could level him up again. Yeah, I want everyone over 40, ideally. Or at least around 40. So, yeah, I'll upgrade him too. Done. And, yeah, I mean... Spending a lot on salaries. You know, 3.5k, but... They're doing their jobs. I can't afford to have any of them decide to go anywhere. So, you can recover for a little bit. It's going to take three turns to get most of these back. Oh, four turns for them. But, I, mm, Salt Mine will probably have a pretty good garrison. So I have to wait. So, okay, so this I will definitely take. So, let's... I mean, it says it's going to be harder than I feel it should be. You know, that's not super decisive. I mean, it's going to be pretty damn decisive. Uh, this should be fine. I'm worried about losing more men than I need to lose is the problem, but I don't think that's much of a problem at the moment for us. I mean, every army that's been thrown at us, we've completely decimated. They just don't have any armies left. You know, we keep wiping them out while they're in cities, so they've got to be recruited from scratch. Local hero, huh? Character recruited. Alright. Uh, the she, or educated gentleman, is a rare... Uh, are a rare... Yeah, there. Sorry, guys, I'm all tongue-tied today. Are a rare breed that exemplify everything the Han citizen should aspire to. Once such a man is identified, idealized by his local community, as bringing harmony and inspiration to everyone around him. We're not a big fan of the Han, though, are we? Not what really. Serve, my lord? Not really. Can't look at those little... Little tents hanging out around it. That's lovely. Uh, we can upgrade this. So... Do we want to go with all the food production? Probably. Probably. I want to get a ton of food, and then I can start upgrading all of my cities nice and big, and start getting more money from everything. Um, you know, really just go massively in with the infrastructure. So this guy does get a level up. Uh, fire arrows and night battles. Yeah? Ooh, that's pretty good too, though. But so is that. It's for the army, so I'm going to do it. Also... You don't have any items or followers. Um. Hmm. There's wedge formation. You don't have anything that can wedge. None of this is useful to him. Yeah. None of this is useful. I mean, it puts his stats up, I guess. I mean, that puts his stats up quite a bit. Um. I don't need more trade influence from characters, really. Extra chance of ambushing. It's already on 100% almost all the time. So, give him some more instinct, maybe? He's a bit better at fighting. Um, some more cunning might be nice. For his archer units. Hmm. It's a tough one. Let's do that. And I want to have a look at her. She's only got a wooden horse. Okay, that's not okay. Where is... There we go. Corruption. Let's give her the discourses of the states. That should actually put her income up a fair bit. If it starts lowering corruption. Um, so that's good. And him. Public order faction white. That's actually really nice. That's actually really nice. Extra trade influence. Enables wedge. Wedge formation would be cool. Does have some cav. But not a huge amount of cav. So. Probably needs more cavalry to be honest. I feel like she should. But. Yeah, the army's good enough. Right, so she can't reach there yet. This, I think I will do. And then he can move to aid this fight, if need be. So, I think I will do this one. Yeah, I'll delegate this. This should go okay. 
How many did Celebrate. lose? Almost a thousand. Two units of cavalry wiped out. Cavalry never seemed to do well here. Also, G militia. Yeah, why do I have G militia in this army still? I need to swap them out. So let's occupy this. this belongs to us now. It do. So this, let's swap it out for... Um, I mean, I'd be stupid not to, wouldn't I? Lovely stuff. Very, very cool. Bow and glaive infantry. Love it. Uh, thing is, I do still need a load of spear guards. I do still need a load of spear guards. Uh, ooh, I can get actual archers now, huh? Can I get actual archers with this gun? No, no, because of course he does the whole crossbowman thing, doesn't he? Yeah, doing some heavy crossbowmen on this guy. But I could get Azir Dragons for him too with a ton of ammunition. Yep. Yep. So that way I've got four units of anti-large bowmen in this army, which would be pretty sweet. Uh, what I could also do is swap these guys out for uh, hidden axes as well. Although I think I do just need like some with a ton of ammo. So hang on. The dragons have 25 ammunition. And... Yeah, 45 for... Yeah, they don't have a lot of ammo. I mean, they're very good at melee, so that's good. Hmm. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Alright. I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, my mounted lancers, that's all great, I think. I'll just have a look, make sure... Yep, yeah, that is the best cab I can get. So that's all good. Uh, him over here. Is there anything I can do here? So he's got the normal crossbowman. So... Hang on. No, that's ammunition. It's 19. I think I've been looking there at ammunition. Hang on. Yeah, so 14 to 29. So yeah, still still similar. Still similar. Never mind. So, she's still waiting. Uh, she can start moving along pretty soon. So, you start moving along. You really can't move far, can you? Alright, never mind. This guy just took that place. She doesn't have any movement. I'll leave her there so she can replenish better. Uh, ooh. Yeah. More farm. Yes, please. You. More farm. You. More farm. Excellent. Alright, maybe I have a bit too much food now. So, maybe I could actually make a food market somewhere. Maybe up here I will actually convert to a food market. I think it might actually be useful. And that's percentage income from peasantry, which means it will actually go great with the um, with selling food there. So we'll see. We'll see how it balances out. Uh, so that is at 2 million, which means we do need to get to the 3 million city, which means a regional city. So we will have to do that in Hadong. Because that is getting built up rather nicely. And we do have a lovely Confucian temple there, which is very, very happy. Very happy place. Um, this place, I can upgrade this some more. What is that? I need a reform for this, do I? Just mad population growth. But that gets more money from industry, and we have a ton of industry. So, that one, please. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Anything else I can build? Doesn't look like it at a glance. Apart from there, I don't want to build this just yet. To be honest. Although, I mean, what else could I really build here? And I have so much food. So it's only going to cost four more food to do this. And that would give me some... Uh, some leeway. Though, how big is the population growth? I mean, it's pretty high. 37k a turn. So I will hit that pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and do that too. And yeah, my income is still 14k. Despite all the recruitment. So... Next turn. Oh, you want, you want peace, do you? Oh, why is that? No, you messed with the wrong bandit, okay? You messed with the wrong bandit. Taking your lands is my best option for becoming empress, okay? Your lands are too valuable, and I've already crushed all your armies, so there is no stopping me. I'd be a fool to stop this momentum. So, I'm sorry, buddy, but... Your greed is repellent. I have no comeback to that. He's absolutely right. I mean, the only reason I'm not declaring peace with him is because I'm being greedy. I want all the things. Um, all of them, guys. All the things. Not some things. All the things. 
So yeah, Yuan Shao still has a billion armies. Billions of them. It's kind of sickening. I mean, he has no territory. It's ridiculous that he can support this many armies. Makes no sense. Alright then. We're earning even more money now. It's insane. Absolutely insane. Right. Oh, look at that. That's almost up. And so is this. So close. So close. This is amazing. Alright, so. You can stop trying to ambush. Go jump on that city. It's only a small city. Should be easy. So there you go. Good news. So yeah, lost a thousand troops. Which is a bit of a pity, but... It's fine, more infamy. This is ours. This location suits and... our plan. <gasps> Hang on a minute. Where are we? Infamy. It's not telling us just what our infamy is on. I can't tell if we're here or here. What are we on? I really don't know. I think we need 130 for this, maybe? It doesn't say how much we need. This I find a little bit annoying, the infamy meter. Um. Oh, wow, look at that. Statistics. Huh. Wow, I didn't know this was here. Population, 18 million. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Huh. We've rejected 267 deals. We've made 25. Payments received, 425k. That's not bad. It's not bad. Thanks, Libu. Total income, 1 million. Wow, this is cool. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. Uh, we've lost 14 units, destroyed 375. That sounds about right. Huh. And, yeah, we're not into sacking or raising. We really do just only attack cities if we want them. Very interesting. Battles fought personally, 28. Huh. Cool. Very cool. Alright, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I don't know where we are on Infamy. I really don't. I really don't know where we are. I don't know where it really says that. Uh, but I mean, it's not a very round number, so I assume we need three more to get to here. So hopefully we'll get that this turn, because, well, nope, we already took that. Because, well, oh, he's nearby. Can he join me yet? No, he can't. All right. Uh, is that going to be close enough? It's not, is it? He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to force march, which kind of bothers me, but I'll do it anyway. So that again, delegate. Opportunity is seldom presented, and easily lost. The emperor is vulnerable. Warlords rise to his defense, whilst others cannot resist the lure of power. They stake their claim with steel and blood. In the ever-growing chaos, there is only one absolute truth. China's fate will be forged in war. Hey guys! We, we leveled up! That's awesome. I am super stoked. Plus three infamy. I'm gonna occupy this. Notoriety increases to bandit leader. Also, we're in here now, so that's how you know. It'll be green if it's still in a thingy and red if wait no but that was red anyway okay that's strange i don't know what it is then but yeah either way we're in here now i think so our money just went up a bit we're getting 23k from tributaries now which is sort of awesome so uh a glance from her and the whole city goes down a second glance leaves the nation in ruins whilst there are those who oppose you there is no bandit in all of china that would dare defy you your position as bandit leader is without question, as is your strength and power on the battlefield. Continue to show the world your might. Oh yeah, we did it. We're the greatest. We're the greatest. Claiming the mandate, the Empire has fallen and the days of the Han are over. A new age is dawning and the moment is yours. Seize this opportunity. Claim the mandate and proclaim yourself as a new ruler suitable for the future. Become Emperor of China. Well, goddamn. Alright. Thanks, God Sun Zan. Thanks, buddy, for letting me take everything from you. Good of you. I'm taking the salt mine, too. Sorry, mate. I am the bandit queen. I mean, you can't expect me to stop there. Uh, okay, so bounce power. A little bit iffy. So I do. Hit starve out for now. Have a little look round. I might fight this. Just a little reward for myself. 
That and I feel like this guy hasn't really had a... Actually, he did have a good fight. We had a fun fight down here, didn't we? Oh god, more farmland. Forgot about that. Let's upgrade that one too. I keep forgetting I have uh, I have some territory south of the river. Yeah. Awkward. Uh, let's have a look here. Food production. More food production, I guess. Could do that, but uh, need a reform first. What reform do I need then? Gotta sell food more. Ah, oh, that one. Interesting. Huh. Income from peasantry would be nice. <laughs> food from fishing. We have quite a lot of food now. Military supplies are useful. Military supplies. Hmm. I mean, that's pretty nice. Just straight up public order. Oh, 25% income from industry. Why haven't I got that yet? Alright, we're getting that next. We're getting that next. Uh, right. So, let's just upgrade that. Because we're rolling in money. Having another little look around. I don't see... Oh, here we got that too. <laughs> Love it. Uh, right. Yeah, I don't see anything else we can build. I don't see anything else we can build. Oh, like, probably just hit, um, commanderies. I could tell, like, super quickly. So, no. Nothing to build. Nothing to build. Good. A lot of these places are a bit miserable, though, but... Not for long. Not for that long, I don't think. So, I think we'll be alright, just still steamrolling. I think we have enough reforms and things that just people are staying quite happy. Although, yeah, doesn't seem very happy, does it? Oof. It's because of the massive population, that's why. Although, we do have a Confucian Temple in it. That helps. But, uh, yeah, still going down pretty quickly. But, okay, faction support. When that goes down, it will start going up again. That's fine. It's only minus four per turn. So, yeah, we're good. We're good. It'll stabilize. Um, that's your hand. Chow's army. Alright, she's still over here. She needs to get a move on. Um, although, I'm getting replenishment. So, let's move to here. Yeah, you just rejoin your uh, sworn sister up here, Le Zhang. My lord. Probably repair these. What's a point? Have I been repairing places? I don't feel like these things have been that damaged. And, oh, look at this. The Iran Magistrate. That won't do. I demolish that. That's not a thing we understand. So, I'm going to replace it with a uh, tribute hall. That's the best thing for it, right? Yeah. All tribute halls are good. I like tribute halls. Uh, military access between our factions. That would... Wow, he actually really likes me. He actually really likes me. I think it's because he doesn't like Gong Sun Zan. And I've just been kicking the crap out of him for ages. So he's really happy. Uh, he wants food from us for this, though. I'm tempted to give him the food because I have a massive amount of food. And this will just solidify him liking me. Although, actually, he's the Duchy of Shuhan. So, he's a he's a du he's a, got a duchy going, right? So, he's going to be one of the kings, no doubt. Hmm. It's kind of tough, because this guy's giving me a ton of tribute. He's paying for my entire economy. And this guy's getting too big for his boots, so... But is in my coalition. It's odd. You know, I'm going to reject. I'm going to reject. It is up to me. I'm very important. Oh, good. So, alright. This guy's gonna come help me, is he? Alright, then. Yeah. Let's do this. I wanna see what the AI does. With an army. I think it'd be fun. He doesn't have a full stack. Oh, two of his never came back, did they? Alright, well, let's play this battle. Just as a little way to end the episode. It's cathartic, guys. It's cathartic. Our cause is just. Let us fight for it. Okie dokie. So... Uh, the usual deal. Spread out. You spread out more. And uh, you lot fire arrows because they seem to do a much better job. And yeah, some of these guys look pretty beaten up, huh? Looking pretty beaten up. So you guys can all go into what's it formation. Yep, you cover the front very nicely. And you guys can aid my cavalry in defending the flanks. You know, I do not have a very good army here, do I? Everyone's very, very injured. Well, my bad. My bad. But, got reinforcements coming from over there. Right. Oh. Yep, these look like, uh... This looks like a good clump. Ooh, don't do the flamble around. It is super inaccurate, by the way. Okay, come on. 
Let's get a hit on him, shall we? Uh, ooh, 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 this could be very good. Yo. Yeah, that seemed to do alright. Killed a few. Killed a few there. Let's go for that middle group now. I love that they roll. I mean, look at all these guys. Still fidgeting. Did they just get hit? I was aiming over here. Not the most accurate, but, uh... Yeah, it can do some work. 45 kills already. 45 kills. Oh, there's the reinforcements. I'm sure I saw banners over there. Because they're just loading in funny, I guess. So yeah, getting a few. Getting a few. Nothing major just yet. Nothing major. But, archers start to fire. Rather you went for them, though. So, you guys... For the next lot. You guys for the next lot. And all of you, guard mode, please. Really? He's gonna charge forward. You're you're do you don't have the range of the crossbowman, do you? Oh interesting. Alright, you just stand amongst them. Atta boy. Yeah, they should be safe in there. Good. You lot coming? They're coming. Uh 156 kills. Not bad. Not bad. But, it doesn't seem to make a huge dent in any of them just yet. Yeah, it looks like he's aiming for them. Which worries me a bit. 170 kills. Okay, he just swung again. And yeah, that's the minimum distance, so... This is perfect. Big old clump. I mean, I might hit my own guys. But, I think it's... I think it's worth a go. Don't you? So, you guys. Aim for the next unit. Are you guys going to attack again? Are you going to get get a big rock to crush them? Please don't hit my own boys. And, oh, looks like my archers are now in range. Lovely. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to attack. Alright. No worries, guys. Go for that unit. If I miss, there's, it's more likely I'll hit something. That is downhill. I don't know if that will affect the rocks bouncing. Hopefully. Okay, let's get our cab to the edges. And you guys. Then go for the next unit along. How are you lot doing? Still 170? Gonna... Gonna shoot again? We're ready to shoot? Can't tell. Ready to shoot? Looks like you're gonna. It's gonna do it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that just went straight past. Got three kills somehow, though. Oh, don't shoot him. Rude. But yeah, these guys aren't doing so well. Alright, next batch. Nice charge into the side. And I don't have to worry about the... Um, uh, archer fire anymore, really. So, start moving up and around. Okay, pull them out. Place them in this lot. Yeah, they're taking all the punishment. So, crossbowman. Uh, you go. No, no, you've gone already. Never mind. And you get a nice little charge into the side. You two could probably do something, huh? I haven't been doing anything with these guys. Oh, that would have been nice as well. Never mind. They're all toast. Reinforcements? Where are you guys? Still over there? Thanks. Thanks for the help. You guys were super, super useful, to be honest. I mean, no look at the view they that they're seeing. Fire. It's just like, just rocks and fire and things. I don't think it's great, is it? Oh yeah, another rock just flew overhead, I think. I see there's more birds. Anyway, uh, Bree doesn't look great to rush to this. It's a bit... It's a bit intimidating. It's a bit intimidating. And there we have it. Another city. Yeah. Everyone loves a good bit of feasting. I only lost 300 guys. Gained some infamy. I'm surprised we lost 300, to be honest. Uh, I mean, they did lose some, didn't they? While they were stood in that front line. 
Because, yeah, they are worse in melee when they're in that formation, is the thing. They attack less often. So, um, you know, in a sort of grindy fight against loads of swords, but they will lose out more. But I like to make sure that I just don't have to worry about missile damage, because missiles actually really add up. I mean, look at this. Hundreds upon hundreds of kills for these guys. These crossbowmen just murdered everybody. I mean, the cavalry did great too, but, you know. These guys, they didn't have cav, so I just wanted to nullify their main damage dealers. And as you can see, their archers did nothing. So, good news. Uh, let's go replenishment. With me. Oh, I haven't taken that town yet. Because, yeah, they, they attacked me. But, should be easy enough to finish up. Gosh, Yuan Chao's got too many men. I'm amazed I'm still actually keeping the pace up without any of his armies getting to any of the settlements before me. It shows how much momentum we've got right now. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. So, let's have another look at this. So, as you can see, we're almost on Bandit Queen. Like, crazy close. Which I really like. So, yeah, we're Bandit Leader. We need to be Bandit Queen. And then once we hit that, then we're in the run to become Empress, I believe. Um, I think. I think that's how that works. I've never got this far. I've never actually played a campaign this long. Um, I've played a lot of campaigns to about halfway through this one. Halfway towards unlocking that. And I've tried a different campaign, you know. Um, so yeah, I haven't really played it to the end. I want it to be sort of a surprise for this campaign. I wanted this campaign to be the one that I get to the end with first. So that way, when I'm really excited about things, you know that it's genuine, because I haven't done it yet. So I am, I am having to stop myself from playing it too much outside of this Let's Play. Which I hope you guys appreciate, because uh, I do want to sort of play along with you guys, even though I'm very excited to play the game in general. So, Esteeds Rival the Ages! The master animal trainer from one of your commanderies gifts you a most beautiful horse. This is a rare specimen that was easy that wasn't easy to break in, he claims, but such is the way with the greatest steeds. This magnificent beast is clearly fit only for one of high station with the utmost of courage. Yeah, cool. Um Thanks. Oh wow, we're the Tide Brotherhood, are we? We're not Jen Jang anymore. With the with the With the Thai Brotherhood, apparently. With the Thai Brotherhood. Uh why is it called a Brotherhood? No, it's a sisterhood. That's what I'm going to be calling it. Right. Let's do that, because we can. Uh, ending can be upgraded, so... I could just go for more income, as opposed to... Um... Yeah, it's just a choice of income or more money from peasants. But it's kind of negligible either way. I could just go for the peasant income. Although, it looks like this one, I'm really going all out for food production. On account of a livestock farm. And food. Yeah, I've got too much food here. So this will be all food and this should be able to support just many, many cities which will be really good. <laughs> My god, so much food. I was worried for a while. Uh, wait. Bohai, wasn't it? No. Where was it? Where was that Confucian thing? There it is. I'm not doing that yet then. Tribute Hall. You need to get those Tribute Halls building, guys. One here too. Excellent. In here? Oh, uh, no. No, there's no room just yet. So, no worries. Um, okay, so guys. Uh, got a few level ups and things. Which is all, you know, good and well. Um, oh, look at him. He's getting too close. I don't like that. I don't have to buy all these settlements, but I will. I'll do it. I'll buy your settlements. Right, so we're going to have to we're gonna have to deal with some of this. Also, we have two potential spies. I keep having my spies return to me. I haven't got a single person to infiltrate anywhere yet. Which really sucks. So we need to work out how to do that. I mean, I know how to do it. It's just, it's not taking. So we're going to need to send some guys off on spy missions. And finally start doing this. I'm going to send one to Liu Bei. And one to, um... So one to the Duchy of Shuhan. And one to the Duchy of Wu. Because, yeah. Those are going to be the two biggest threats. One of them is giving me money right now. But I want to make sure I keep him under wraps, you know. And uh, the other one I'm probably going to have to double cross and kill. Um... Yeah, once the coalition falls apart, which I'm sure it will soon. Kong Rong doesn't have much going on. Grand Chao doesn't have much going on. Gao Gan, I mean, he does get me 847 in trade, so it's worth keeping him along. You know, it's worth keeping him with that one city. You get a thousand from him, though. Hmm. Anyway, we need to think about that. Uh, what I'm getting at is we're going to do this in the next episode. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, you know, let's just let's just zoom in on this place on fire. There we go. Lovely stuff. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and be sure to tune in to the next one. Have a good day, guys.